Hello guys, as requested on one of the comments, today we're talking about APUs, Auxiliary Power Units. Hello guys, welcome to Plain Simple. In one of my comments, uh, Sam Ash, and again dude, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, uh, you asked about uh, APUs, auxiliary power units. This video is to answer your request and I hope I answer it. We're going to be talking about auxiliary power units. Uh, in this particular case, in the clip that I'm about to show you, it is an airborne auxiliary power unit. That means that that particular APU is able to run up at altitude in the air, not just on the ground like some other uh, APUs are and the second clip I will show you in this video the second APU example I will show you is from a Boeing 737 which is only rated to run it's only able to run on the ground I'll show you that this particular one this literature that we're reading from is from an APU that is able to run up in the air while the airplane is flying that's why it's called an airborne auxiliary power unit the job of the APU is to provide power as, a, as an auxiliary source of power, therefore the name auxiliary power unit. It converts heat energy from the burning of jet fuel into mechanical energy, turning a generator or providing pneumatic air to run aircraft systems. Some APUs run uh, will also provide a hydraulic unit, uh, hydraulic power. Most cases, hydraulic pumps are electric and will run from the electric power provided by the APU. And if we read here, and you can pause the video if you want to read the, the description a little better. This is the description of the engine itself in the APU. That the function of the engine system is to change heat energy from the burning uh, of fuel into shaft, converting it into shaft horsepower or pneumatic horsepower. The engine can use its shaft horsepower to turn the APU generator to make AC voltage providing electrical power, backup electrical power to the aircraft or it can provide pneumatic power to supply bleed air to environmental control systems or meaning air conditioning or pre cabin pressurization of the aircraft or to start uh, the aircraft engines, the thrust producing engines. That means that the APU, an airborne APU can provide electrical power backup electrical power or bleed air for NTI systems or cabin pressurization or air conditioning um, any, of the, any of the uses of bleed air that APU can provide some APUs are only rated to work on the ground more modern most modern APUs will also have the ability to run up at altitude Some APUs are so big, namely from, let's say, the Boeing 787, 777, the 777. Those aircrafts are so big that the auxiliary power unit, the APU, is the size of the jet engine you would have in a, in a, in a, in a normal private jet. It, is, it has the capability to process so much air and fuel that... It, uh, let me back up for a second. Most APUs are started using battery power. An onboard uh, battery carried in the aircraft, meaning that you have, just like a car, you have an electric starter. With that electric starter, um, you start the APU 
which in turn burn, starts to burn fuel to use the bleed air to start the main thrust producing engines. And like you will hear me describe in the next in the following clip, the thrust producing engines are so massive that it would require too much energy from a battery to get those started. So you start the little uh, gas turbine engine, the APU, with a battery, and then the APU will provide enough air to start the big guys, the big thrust producing engines. Some APUs in very large aircrafts are so, so huge that they themselves, those APUs, are too large to start from a battery power. So you have a smaller battery powered, battery started gas turbine engine, which then starts the APU, which then starts the big thrust producing engines. But that's only on the cases of the with the, the Airbus A380 or the 777 or the big, big uh, airplanes. Most of your engines, most of your airplanes have an electrically battery started APU, like I'm about to show you, and then the APU starts the regular thrust producing engines. But the APU is still a very much a gas turbine engine, but its job is not to produce thrust, it is to produce shaft horsepower to turn the generator, like we just read over here, and to produce enough air from the compressor, bleed air, to power pneumatic systems in the aircraft, and to start the air starter from the thrust producing engines. Therefore, the APU will start the regular engines. Uh, next, the next clip you're gonna see is one of those examples, the first example I'm, I'm going to show you of one of those APUs, which is what this literature is referring to. Here we have a, a case of an APU that is mounted in the tail cone of the aircraft. Right now we're, I'm standing underneath the tail cone. Uh, forward is that way, here is left engine, right engine, one and two. And in the tail cone, this with the access doors open, right here is the APU, the auxiliary power unit. And you can see the air comes in through a duct from up there, goes through the compressor, gets heated through the burning of fuel, and it goes out through the exhaust on the side over here. And this is a gas turbine engine just like the aircraft's main engine, but the job of this engine is not to produce thrust. It is to produce pneumatic power and shaft horsepower. This is an example of a turbo shaft uh, turbine engine. Um, turbo shaft because the gearbox is directly coupled to the main shaft of the engine. That means that as the engine rotates, it is directly coupled to the gearbox. And in the gearbox you have uh, hydraulic power, you have the generator, which is right here. You can see the wires leading out to the aircraft. Uh, and that is your auxiliary source of uh, electrical power. In case you have a failure in flight, you can run this APU and this will supply electrical power. Um, it also supplies pneumatic power from the compressor. There's a pipe up here that you can see right there that bends over and goes into the airframe. That will supply an auxiliary source of bleed air. Hot compressed air to feed it to anti-ice systems, to cabin air conditioning. Uh, any uses, any need you have for bleed air, this can supply on the ground as well as in flight. On the ground uh, you would use this, especially the bleed air, to start the engines. You start the APU using battery power from the aircraft or ground supplied uh, electrical power from a, from a GPU or ground power unit to start this guy. 
and this guy then in turn provides the bleed air to start the engines. Aircraft main engines uh, have an air start, they are an air starter, and the air comes from the APU. So your starting sequence is first start APU, then the APU starts provides the air to start the main engines. So uh, this is just wanted to show you this particular example of the APU auxiliary power unit. Again, it provides electrical power through that generator. Right, let me see if I can shine a light and point at the same time right here. That's your generator. And the wires leading out to the aircraft. And pneumatic power. Just wanted to show you that this particular example of the APU. Hey guys, now I'm gonna show you, this is a 727, a Boeing 727. And I'm gonna show you another example of an APU. And this particular installation of APU is not one that came with the aircraft when it was first delivered. This was an APU that was installed in the aircraft after the plane was delivered. Uh, and by delivered, I mean delivered to the customer after the plane was first manufactured and sold to a customer. Now, this aircraft is the Boeing 727 has three engines, three uh, low bypass turbofan engines. One's here, uh, two is in the tail and exhausts out the center, and number three is on the right. And the, this aircraft did not have an APU originally. It had one fitted to it later on in its life. Uh, originally, this plane depended, depended on a GPU, an aircraft power unit, to supply power to it to start the engines. Later on, they realized, in the, the use of the aircraft, they realized that if they flew somewhere where they did not Let's say somewhere in South America, Africa, where, where Alaska, wherever there wasn't enough ground support equipment to start the airplane, the plane was grounded. It was stuck. It couldn't start back up. So they added an auxiliary power unit, the APU, which was, uh, it had the ability to be started via a battery. It could be started with an electric starter from the onboard aircraft battery. The original engines are so massive and so heavy that it, 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 the requirement of an electric motor to start those engines would have been so massive and so huge that it rendered it useless. To start these engines via battery power, it would have required massively heavy starters and it would have required for the engine to carry around massively heavy batteries so that was not feasible so they started uh, uh, they, they started carrying around and installing APUs which is nothing but and like I said in my the previous clip that I just showed you guys a smaller turbine uh, uh, engine that it required a lot smaller electrical load to get going, to get started. But now you had an engine that was using the energy from the fuel to provide air to start the engines and provide electrical power on the ground, etc., etc. In the case of the 727, inside of the wheel well, that's forward in the engine. Uh, uh, I'm sorry forward in the aircraft just so you get situated and know what and understand what it is that we're looking at this is the main landing gear under the wings here's the left wing main landing gear if we look underneath the wheel well this is now we're looking inside of the wheel well 
and we come across this thing. This thing is the APU, the auxiliary power unit that was added to this aircraft after delivery. This is an addition. This was not here originally from the factory. Now, this APU will provide electrical power and bleed air to start the engines, the main engines. That means that now the airplane is self-sustaining. Now the airplane can self-start the APU from onboard batteries. And now this APU will start, will provide enough bleed air to start the main engines, which normally would require a ground assistance, ground equipment assistance from a GPU to start the engines. Now the airplane can fly to a lot different uh, locations where ground support equipment was not available and it itself would be able to start. Now this particular engine, uh, this APU, is not able to run up at altitude. It is only certified to work on the ground because uh, its intake is here and the exhaust it actually exhausts over the wing and over the right wing, but it, the, the APU itself is housed inside of the main landing gear compartment. This is, here's the main landing gear with the struts going up. And if you look inside, this whole thing right here is the main landing gear compartment. This is where the main landing gear goes up and tucks into. That means that in the air, this whole area is closed off. These fairings and doors that come up and these doors here come up, swing up, and they close off this area. That means that the intake, the air intake for the APU would be closed off. And the APU would overheat and catch fire, etc., etc. Therefore, this particular APU can only run on the ground to run and provide electrical power for the aircraft and to start the engines. As opposed to the previous APU that I just showed you on the previous clip, that APU is a backup source of electrical power and bleed air power up at altitude while the aircraft is flying. This one is not. This is the beginning, the very beginning of APU's auxiliary power units being installed on aircrafts. So much so that this is a later addition, like I said before. All right, let me uh, back up a little, see if I can give you a better, um, better idea of what it is that we're looking at. Actually, you know what, just that's a cool thing forward aircraft forward is that way there's a nose landing gear we are underneath the left wing looking into right here is the main la left main landing gear and if we go again here's fuselage and we go into the center of the aircraft there's the APU and we're looking at the main landing gear compartment and one curious thing is this thing right here. That is a peephole, a, a sight, a physical sight glass to look from the cabin inside of the aircraft to look down into the landing gear door to physically verify optically with your eyeballs look in and into, so you're not depending on an indicator light to look at the locking features, the locking mechanism of the main landing gear. When the main landing gear is retracted, it turns on the trunnions and it swings up and it locks here. That peephole is to look down at the locking mechanism. It has nothing to do with APUs. I just wanted to, since we're here, I wanted to show you that. I, I think that's kind of cool. If, you ever, if you're ever in an aircraft and the pilot comes out and he lifts the carpet up and he looks down a hole, that's the hole that he's looking at. That hole looks down at the locking mechanism for the main landing gear. 
he's just confirming that the gear is up and locked. Okay. Again, we're looking at main landing gear, left main landing gear on a 727, where the APU lives inside of the main landing gear compartment. You know what? Let's walk over, let's walk across and look at and see what we can see from the APU on the right main landing gear compartment. Again, let me get you situated. There's forward, there's aircraft forward. Here's the right main landing gear. And now we're looking in the belly of the aircraft here's the combustion chamber of the AP of the APU right here that's the combustion chamber the turbine is somewhere in here and there's the exhaust the exhaust goes from the APU Again, here's the main landing gear. And from the APU, exhaust goes here. There's an elbow, 90 degree elbow here, and it goes up and it exhausts over the right wing. Again, this APU, keep in mind that it, it looks a little awkward and that's because it is that this APU. I don't mean to be too repetitive, but if it's a new concept, it, it helps. This APU is a later addition. This is added to an aircraft that was never designed to have an APU to begin with. Therefore, they had to pick the best suitable location for the auxiliary for to add another. Uh, gas turbine engine and the previous clip that I showed you the APU was housed right here in the engine cone and the exhaust was out this side in this case there's a third jet engine here 737 has three engines here's number three number two is this is the intake of it which has an, uh, an s-shaped intake duct and take air goes through here and it goes into the engine the engine itself lifts inside of here where the APU was in the previous clip that I showed you here you have one two three engines and the APU is housed inside of the wheel wells and now that I'm here let me do a shout out for Broward College Broward College BC this is where I get most of uh, I get access to most of the equipment here in school to spread the knowledge to enlighten you guys the guys that are looking for knowledge and asking questions and want to learn about how things work this is where I get most of uh, a lot of the footage the rest of the footage comes from my work of, <laughs> from my job. But since we're here, thank you Broward College for giving me access to all this amazing equipment. So there you go. I hope you, uh, this, this helps you out in understanding what the APU is. Different cases, uh, in this video I understand that I've only shown two different applications to different installations of APUs auxiliary power units uh, but I, I hope it's enough to, to, to understand the concept of what the APU is and it, what what its role is in the aircraft it is quite literally a gas turbine engine just like just like these guys are except these guys job is to provide thrust 
grab the air, heat it up and throw it out the back as fast as they can to propel the aircraft forward. The APU on the other hand is using the fuel energy, the fuel heat energy to turn accessories, electrical power, bleed air, uh, to, to start the big guys, to, to start the big engines, the thrust producing engines. So they, they have a critical role and they're very useful and more modern uh, aircraft they are a backup to all the uh, a backup source of power from the electrical from electrical to hydraulic to pneumatic they are a source an alternate source of all those things uh, in case of engine failures in case you're having a bad day they're, they're becoming more and more important Um, anyways, I hope this helps you out. I hope you understand better now what the job of the APU is. It's from its humble add-on after the fact origins to its critical everyday necessity type of thing. Um, I hope you like it. I hope th this helps you. I am, uh, this has been Plain Simple, and uh, see you next time. Keep those questions coming. I'm always happy to see you guys commenting, asking questions. If you want to learn, I'll, I'll bring you along for the ride. Anyways, see you guys.